Hello and welcome back. This is video number five and we're going to talk about creating an avatar profile. So essentially what we're doing here is we're taking all the data that we did in the previous video and writing it all down. Okay, so what I want you to do is simply pull out a piece of paper or a notepad, whatever makes you feel like you're organizing and uh, let's jot things down. So like I said earlier, this is not set in stone. It's just giving you a better idea of who you could be targeting. So if we take a look at here, remember I started with any age and any gender, but we can see 55% of women on Facebook, 45% uh, of men in Facebook. But we can see that in general, it seems like the most is men. But it does seem like it's 50-50, so we're just going to stick with both. Now, like I said, we see 25 to 34 as the age. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 25, like so. And we can kind of get us an idea that this is the majority, and then it kind of sinks down here. So let's just say... We're going to start with this group here and let's end it at 54. And now we have about 2.5 to about 3 million. So let's click on page likes. Now, before that, let me go ahead and, and jot things down. So location in this case is going to be the United States. The age is going to be 25 to 54. The gender is going to be all. And in this case, the interest is going to be scuba diving. So all you're doing is simply jotting down what you see. All right, so scrolling down here, we have relationship status. The majority are married with a college level education. So married, let's say relationship and education and job title. And remember we see that the majority is production. So we're gonna type in production Veterans, installation, repairs, etc. And the job title is not necessarily something that we're worried about right now. Most of the time, you're just going to target the location, the age, the gender, and the interest. And you can get more specific by targeting married. So we could target these. And then based on that information, we'll know more later. So let's scroll back to the top and we'll go to page likes and let's jot this down. So we've got clothing store. They like the nine line apparel and then they got Ray. They like bass. Pro Shops, which is not a clothing store, but it's a store. What products do they buy? What services do they use? What websites do they visit? What TV shows do they watch? So they watch the national Geographic. They like to visit all recipes. And then we've got page likes. So what's the difference between this and this? So this is page likes and these are actual categories that they're interested in. So we've got page likes, we've got Jenny Springs,
Salt Life, Nine Line Apparel. Now, what you're going to see here is relevance. Relevance basically means that in relation to scuba diving, how closely are these audience related? So obviously, the further you get away, the further you get away from how close they are to that interest. The closer you are, the closer you are to that interest, if that makes sense. So we have affinity level, which basically tells you how close they are to the audience that you're looking for. And the closer they are, the easier it is to target them, right? So it's always good to start with the ones closest to the top. So now remember we saw location. We saw a lot of Florida and we saw a lot of Hawaii. And then in terms of activity and devices, we saw that a lot of them use mobile devices. So iPhone, Android, etc. Now you can further create this avatar profile. Another method is by going to google.com and looking for magazines. So why magazines? Well, if you flip through the magazine and you go through to the advertise page, you'll notice that these magazines have what we call a media rate card. And what this does is a lot of times it'll tell you the exact demographic and the exact avatar that you're trying to target. So let's type in, for the sake of simplicity, we'll type in food magazine, like so. And you can do food magazine advertise. So for example, the Food Network Magazine Media Kit, the Food and Wine Magazine. And bear in mind that we are not going to advertise on these networks necessarily. You can if you want to, but this will give us a better idea of the demographic. So essentially, a lot of these magazine companies, they want you to advertise. So in order to get you to advertise, they're going to provide you with the demographic information. So we can see here, besides this data here, sometimes if you scroll further down, it'll tell you stuff like this, like adults, it looks like mainly women, about probably 70% women or 90% or women actually. It tells you the age group. So the majority are 18 and above, how much money they earn, if they have children, are they married? Are they employed? What is their education level? So what I would do is I would go to Google and type in whatever your niche is, space magazine, space advertise. And most likely you'll be able to find this information. So food and wine, for example, if we go to the advertise, it'll give you an idea of who you're targeting. So audience right here. We can go and take a look at the audience profile and match it with the Food Network one and get a better idea of the patterns that show up. What are things that are consistent throughout, essentially? So that's another method that you can use. You don't have to, but I just wanted to give you more so that you can kind of target people in a more specific manner. So go ahead, write things down and keep it saved on your computer.